hello welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe to this uh, video uh, here I'm gonna show you uh, uh, how to do input validation in general like how to prevent the uh, duplicate reports from being entered in this in a system uh, using the uh, input validation on the Django forms the py uh, here if you see uh, we're gonna implement it on this uh, application uh, that, okay, in this particular application, there are duplicates of records. Uh, uh, you can see a particular record being entered seven times and the system still keeps accepting the, the record. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to use employment number and then uh, make it unique to a particular employee. And then any time it's been repeated, the system should raise a validation error uh, and prevent uh, that record being to be entered in the system. So uh, right now, uh, if uh, you go through the system, if you go through the app, you're going to see that uh, it's accepting, still accepting more duplicates. Let's just test this. Uh, okay, this record is already in the system. So in normal circumstances, it should not be uh, accepted. And then start of service, we can make it this. This is just dummy data. And so the app is currently accepting duplicate data. So if we verify right now, it's like nine records have been duplicated and almost the same employment number. So we want to. Uh, implement a solution in the Django Forms to PY to make sure that any time a duplicate employment number is detected by the system, that it is a validation error and prevent the data from being entered. Uh, so to do that, I've opened the app in my Sublime Text Editor. Uh, here I have my admin.py, forms.py, models.py, URLs, and bits. So uh, we're going to implement this solution using the forms that py and in here you're going to see it. these are the fields that uh, you're currently seeing here. Okay. And these fields are having the required validation already. Now uh, what I mean by that if you click on this it's going to tell you that these fields are needed and they must be filled. So and the employment number and check okay let me do this it must also have the required validation save and refresh again yes it's also having a required validation that means employment number must be added before a record can be saved so now we want to add an extra feature to make sure that uh, if you add a duplicate uh, employment number that already exists in the application that it give you a, a validation error that this employment number already existed in this system and then it belongs to officer particular officer's name with the officer's name presented here so now to implement that we're just going to add a few little codes here two or three lines to this particular field so we are using the employment number field to do the validation yeah let's make this one non here Let's take it back to where how it was and then uh, bring back the, the validation here. So what we're going to show here is uh, for instance, uh, that's the extra code uh, in for, sorry, for instance in the admin graduate uh, graduate rather dot objects. to objects that sorry or let's uh, do our same column and okay let's do this so if mm, instance dot employment number if an employment number is equals to entered in the system is equal to equals to another employment number 
in the system column raise this validation error forms dot uh, validation error let's open bracket and we bring the error message that the user should see this okay this this employment number is already input or let's concatenate it to bring the officer's names right uh, let's bring the to bring the, the the owner of this particular employment number and we're gonna concatenate it uh we bring the string here uh, open bracket uh instance dot the office's name and outside the bracket sorry concatenate again and complete the error message okay. system and we say here return the return message of course uh, return employment number so let's save this and test and input uh employment number that already exists in the system and see uh, t should okay sorry how do you call it uh finance Accounts. Let's repeat an employment of this one. It has to give us an extra message other than is required. And does that have any value here? Any value here too? Or data plan? Um, random here, 1980. If we like, and then startup service can also be the connections. <laughs> Uh, okay, and depends on date. Let's choose today's date and save this data and observe the employment field. Wow, we got it. So now, uh, it's validation, of course. It is telling us that. Oh, sorry, let's uh, correct this. There is no space here. Uh, sorry. Okay, let me save. Do the space there. Okay, now that will be less refresh. Okay, it is telling us that uh, it is preventing us from entering the data. As you see, the record has not been entered, and it's telling us this employment number is already entered for T suit. That's the officer's name in the system. Unless we change the employment number. So this will have the user from adding duplicate records, and uh, you know, it will bring up some control in the system. So now, uh, if you want to save this particular number, you have to put a uh, different employment number. So there, that is it for this video. We have achieved our objective to show you how to do the validation. Please like, share, and subscribe to uh, my channel if you have any issues or if you need any help, just uh, put them in the comment section and I will help you solve the video. Thank you.